Good morning, my friends. I am on my bike, obviously, and I'm going to meet my friend Hayden, who runs an incredible organization here in Boulder called Boulder Food Rescue. And what they do is they rescue food from grocery stores, and then they distribute it to people in need all across Boulder, and they do it on bikes. So Boulder Food Rescue is a nonprofit uh, that's been around for about eight years, and what we do is try to create a more just and less wasteful food system. So we pick up food that would otherwise be discarded, even though it's perfectly good, and we're focused on produce, healthy fruits and vegetables, and we take it directly to 38 different sites around Boulder. Um, some of those are food pantries, shelters, places where you would think you would receive food, uh, but about two thirds and kind of our main focus is what we call no cost grocery programs. So we take it directly to a low income housing site or preschool or daycare where residents at those sites can distribute the food amongst themselves. Decentralizes food rescue, it cuts down on barriers to accessing food and it involves people in the process. So that's where we're going today and excited to show you. How did this all start? It started with a group of friends who were learning about food waste and got really upset and we wanted to do something about it. And we saw that there was so much healthy, nourishing, fresh produce just going to waste for really kind of weird reasons. Um, and we wanted to say, let's, let's, let's get grocery stores to donate that food instead of throwing it away and uh, take it to people that don't have access to it. So it was a really simple idea. It started with one grocery store, one pickup, one day a week, and then it boomed uh, really quickly. So now we pick up from eight grocery stores, one to two times a day at each one, seven days a week. Uh, we have about 12 shifts a day, every day of the week, and we distribute about 1,500 pounds of food. So um, 150 volunteers are out there biking food around, and um, it's, uh, it's a really cool way to both get on a bike, to contribute actively to the distribution of food out of the waste stream um, into the hands of people and to like make a big active impact. You just hit a milestone, tell me about that. We uh, just hit three million pounds of food distributed from our get-go, so um, that's a lot. That's, a, that's three, I don't even know what three million pounds is. Um, it's about 1,500 pounds of food a day. Um, we'll probably pick up a couple hundred from this shift alone. Why bikes? bikes it just kind of made sense um, to try to use bikes to try to be as environmentally friendly as possible it's pretty fun and uh, it really also like for me personally as a bike lover um, I love the physical impact of it so at every uh, donor site we have bikes and trailers locked up um, and what that does is it enables volunteers who either don't have bikes or uh, you know probably most volunteers don't have trailers to utilize our equipment so as a volunteer I can come to the site I can unlock the bikes and trailers, uh, do the shift, and then I come back and I lock it up. And then we have like food sorting guides, things like this is what a good, you know, mango bite look like. This is like not so good. The idea behind it is we want to sort food as best as possible because we don't want to distribute things that are actually bad and put that burden on the people receiving the food. Um, so we just compost everything here that we uh, aren't able to distribute. All right, so we're gonna go down to the loading dock um, and ask for the food. They usually have a receiver or a produce manager or someone here at the store who uh, puts it aside for us. What's it feel like to be part of this program and helping out Boulder Food Rescue and uh, being part of the community in this way? It's very exciting. I, I'm, I'm really glad that we're able to do it. You know, we have, um, sometimes we have inexperienced order writers, sometimes we have sales that just don't happen and we thought they would so we have some extra products so it's great that we can take it to a place that can use it right away. These cantaloupes are going to be heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a lot of food Hayden. I don't know how we're going to get this all on the bikes. All right, I'm giving you all the cantaloupes and melons and uh, I'll take the mushrooms. That's how we're going to do it. Sounds good. We never know what we're going to get. It's, uh, it's kind of different depending on what they're pulling that day. Um, so. We just kind of go through it and, and people will find out, I guess, as we go. Tomatoes! These bananas are growing because they, you know, maybe has a slight brown spot, but they're actually really ripe. It's like kind of perfect to eat. Oh, that's so. a good pepper right there. Ooh, there's some kiwis even. Somebody's in for a treat. Look at these beautiful mushrooms. This is amazing. It's kind of hard to say why something's good to waste. Like, I have this box of zucchinis, and this one looks kind of funny. 
it's got a fatter bottom and a thinner top and like something like that just might not sell because a consumer wants to buy like the perfect iconic zucchini for example um, even though this one's still perfectly good it's the real deal pounds of food coming through. I've carried a lot of weight on my big bike tours. Not even close to this much weight. This is super heavy, but it's actually, it's pretty efficient with these big trailers. Wide loads coming through. This is really fun. And what makes it so much fun is that we're we're doing this on bikes. This is a human powered effort right here. And when things are carried human powered, they're carried with love. And that's what this is all about. We're not only distributing food, we're st distributing food with a touch of love. You got everything on your trailer stuff? I think I have everything. It looks like it's all there. It sounds like it's all bouncing off every time I hit a bump, but. Oh look, it's green! Go! Ah. We got this. Top top speed. Yeah. Hooray for the downhills. Sharp left. All right, we made it. All in one piece and no broken eggs. All right, so where are we? So we're at um, a housing complex called Red Oak Park, and residents here help. Uh, receive the food and take it in and sort it out and call neighbors and they're called grocery program coordinators. They're an active part of uh, how all of this works and it enables people to um, help out, to get involved and to uh, help create food access in their own communities. Buenos dias amigos y amigas. Buenos dias. ¿Y cuál es su comida favorita? <laughs> See, we bring the food um, and then we really give it to the community to do what they want with it. Um, most places set up uh, this kind of setup where it's like what we call a grocery program. It's essentially like a no-cost grocery store and people can come through. You can see people bring bags and they fill up their bags and they take what they need. Um, and most people are always looking out for their neighbors. We have stories of like if somebody's not as mobile, people will take food to them. Um, if they know someone else needs it more, they'll make sure that they get enough. Um, so people in the community, they know each other, so they're looking out for each other as Boulder Food Rescue we support them, um, but they really get to have power and ownership and uh, a say in how these resources get transferred um, amongst their community. And so it not only gives uh, food, it's not only about giving a resource away, it's about giving power away, it's about giving people a voice, giving people a way to participate, giving them a hand in actually creating a system that works for them. So. <laughs> 